This video is not for the sensitive hoes. The ones who can't take anyone else's opinions except for their own. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Now remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to nanny port to Nina's raw view in 3, a 2, a 1. Hello children, are you ready for some cutting up and kikiing? Are you ready for a gay old time? Well I hope you are, cause now it's time for Hey Queen with your host, Johnny McGovern. Oh, welcome back piggies. Oh, another raw view. And this was not recorded the same day that I recorded the raw view for episode four, three of RuPaul's Drag Race season one. I promise this is a whole new, a whole nother day. It's a new day for me over here doing raw view. It's not the same day. I didn't just change clothes and put on a different hat just to act like it was a different day of me recording another raw view. I don't know. Who knows? Another day. <laughs> Save me. <sighs> Depression. But yeah, so it's not going to be any, y'all know how to do, keep it cute, keep it mute, or you will get the boots, okay? Keep it cute in the comment section, okay? I decided to do a Meet the Queens, at least do that much for now. Do a Meet the Queens, I'm going to merge Drag Race Brazil and Drag Race Philippines, baka baka. Now thank God, thank you Jesus, Drag Race Brazil has their own Drag Race because girl, Brazilians, they love too hard, like they, they, they love too much, like it's like calm down, girl. But this is how I know my fandom, my fame has died. Cause I no longer get, come to Brazil. I'm not famous anymore. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Dreams. They come true. So thank God they have their own drag queens. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna do Meet the Queens. I don't have any tips to read because this is just out of nowhere. And I have read, I'm reading my tips on my episode three, season one raw view. I'm thinking this will be out before then, before they raw view, I think, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, but if you would like the tip, support the channel, please do. Tip and information is in the description box down below. And if you don't tip, at least like and subscribe to the channel, like the videos, okay? Cause I'm telling y'all, I said in my other video, Y'all be asking me to break my neck and do all these raw views. Do Philippines. Do Drag Race Africa. Do Drag Race Antarctica. Do Drag Race Booty Honka. And it's like, okay. And I really don't care to. The same way y'all be like, oh, well, we don't, I don't like gaming or I don't like this or like that. Okay, I don't like most of these shows. But y'all want me to watch them? It's a two-way thing, mama. Whether you like what I'm doing or not, it's still me in the video. I'm assuming most of y'all follow me because y'all like me as a person. I mean, I'm assuming. So the least you can do is at least click on the video, whether you watch it or not, and like the video to show YouTube at least like, okay, let's put it in the algorithm. Cause Lord knows my numbers aren't growing. Even though people are watching, I'm still stagnant at the same number of subscribers been away for years. So I'm just asking y'all the two-way thing. Y'all need to do these things where it's a lot more where I have to watch something an hour or so and then edit for hours. It's a lot versus me asking a simple thing like, hey, can you like the video? Can you subscribe? Can you maybe click on another video? That's all. It's a two-way thing, y'all. If I feel like I'm getting something in return, then I'm going to want to give. But let's get to it and see what these girls are doing, honey. Meu Deus, o que tá por vir? Não sei. Você é o meu... Well, dang, they're getting right to it. Girl, I'm like, what? And Cookie Monster's sister? And I wish I could just understand different languages easily. It would make me actually probably want to watch these seasons more. Like, yeah, you can read the captions, but I hate reading captions. I don't even watch, I don't even look at captions on movies. I just hate, I'm just like, I want to focus on a movie. I don't feel like looking at the words and looking at this, like, it's just too much. So, but yeah, I'm trying to get through this. But um, we're on Drag Race Brazil first. Her name is Aquarela. Aquarela. I like the top. The top, the shirt is sickening. Guess she's your unique queen. And y'all say I'm coming to snatch the crown. Yeah, I really like that shirt. It's like a Muppet. But that's all I like though. <laughs> 
So far. A minha maquiagem pode ser um ponto muito... Back up too close. Too close to the close to the camera. Eu acho que isso vai ser muito marcante. Yeah, I'm gonna just kind of just get through them. Like, the look, I will rent the top. Um, because I can't, like, I'm trying to, like, listen to see what they're saying, but it's like, you know, it's all the same thing. I'm gonna win because of this. I can do high kicks. I can do splits. I'm the campy queen. I'm the funny queen. I'm the artsy queen. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let's just get on with it. Oh, whose uncle is this? <laughs> Girl, she kind of looks like a much manlier version. Of <laughs> I can't remember, girl, I can't remember the queen's names. Girl, I'm, I'm RuPaul at Dracon. Wait, that that's what's her name? Oh yeah, New Lena Brown. Um, <laughs> she looks like um, what's her name? The last, uh, the last American season, the girl that I said looks like she could be like Blossom or like from the '80s with the long hawk nose. <laughs> like she could be like her, but like. Her brother. Bettina Polaroid. I like the outfit though. I'm gonna buy the outfit. I think it's cute. I like the outfit. You know, yellow hair is something I'm just like, you know, I'm iffy with yellow hair. She's definitely inspired by RuPaul with the hairline and the wig sitting back here. <laughs> I'm assuming she's kind of campy. That's what I'm kind of gathering from her. Oh, I'm like, I'm like, did the caption get it wrong? Like, I'm the next Brazilian superstar because I have the charisma of a cancer. I'm like, wait, like what? <laughs> She's a cancer. I take it back. I'm a cancer too. You look soft. Ow. <laughs> this is giving me my cyberpunk kind of look I did with the tongues coming out my face. The green and black, which is always a nice color. Hey, like I live for it. This is very cyberpunk. So clean. I I don't I don't know if she actually painted that on or if it was a stencil, but it's so clean. I like it because like she made the face almost kind of plain, so that the cyber like wires and all that just stand out. I love this. Dallas Deville. Okay. I have to see more of the outfit. The outfit below is just okay. But up here I was getting life. But it's like, it's okay. You know, it could be more. But I still like it. I just rinse it. I guess you like your edgy kind of rock queen. Dallas DeVille. I don't know, for some reason it reminded me of this character I just seen. It's releasing for Street Fighter VI. can kill people in the thousands with that amount i think it's at autumn around autumn somewhere it could be that could be next month it could be october who knows she looks sickening like girl if somebody could give me that wig and that outfit i would get back and drag right away like no questions like you know. yes ma'am why does it feel like she just started doing drag secretly after playing cyber cyberpunk <laughs> and was like this is cool i'm a drag queen now look at these looks <laughs> like is that your whole aesthetic for real for real or like you know i'm just curious what oh Girl, this is this Valentina and Pandora Box had a baby. <laughs> Give drag queens filters, okay? Filters are much needed. <laughs> Girl, Magnolia Crawford has competition. <laughs> Her name is Diva Moore. These names are kind of cute. Um, but I don't get the outfit at all. Like, why the blue thing on the head, the dress? Like the dress, I probably would have bought it more if she probably did more of a classy look. Another queen with no breasts. Um, just a little more classy. She says, beneath all this beauty. I'm gonna keep watching. 
I swear, I just, I just look, I just look, I feel like a lot of queens are just so copy paste. Like, they look at some queens' makeup and be like, I can't do that. Like, every queen swear they have to do that same kind of eye. Like, same kind of, like, clown white underbrow, da da da. Like, it's the same, it's like, is, it, is anybody just unique? Really unique? Their own different now? Because she's a comedian. <laughs> she's like, she's the best at makeup. I'm like, uh huh. <laughs> Helena Maldita. Oh, finally a drag queen. <laughs> Girl, you know, some, some, some people just catch up. Like, like, oh, Helena Maldita. Yes, Maldita. What in the Brazilian version of La of um, Linacia Sparks? Secretly. Yes, ma'am. This is this is a drag queen. Her booty stank. Helena Maldita. I feel like they're Brazilian, but they, they, or Portuguese, but like their names are like kind of so like Americanized. Helena Mel Maldita. The outfit is, you know, it's okay. You know, it's cute. But she, yeah, like, you could tell she must be going a little further in the competition. I think, I'm assuming. Some people just have that look. She said her drag style is being drop-dead gorgeous. And I'm buying it so far. Ow. <laughs> and I'm liking the outfit more now. Probably because she's been over. <laughs> Not saying she's canceling herself because she calls gays annoying. No, gays are annoying. Girl, we are really annoying. Like, girl, give us a little bit of rights. We don't know how to act. Yeah, the internet will stop. Okay, because Brazil has a lot of talent. I mean, no shade. This video only has 759 likes. We'll see if it stops. <laughs> Blue lips, they're just... <laughs> yeah, they really know how to wear them. Melanusa Sparkle. I think, it's I think I'm saying it right, Melanusa Sparkle. She even has my sash that I left at Drag Race after the pageant episode. She's kind of cute. I mean, the face is really matte, like very matte, but she's kind of cute though. Like I see potential there. Like she's kind of cute. Girl, it's the it's it's the gaunt right here. It's that cheekbone cut right there. So she's into mermaids. Same. But were you happy that Ariel was black? Exactly. She seems fun. I think I kind of like her. She seems cool. Girl, I never want to be a role model. That's too much pressure on yourself, and you could do one little thing and. Nah. <laughs> Wait, why does she look familiar? Isn't that the judge? Girl, these hairlines. What is up with the girls pushing their hair? RuPaul, you have really inspired the girls in the wrong in the wrong way. <laughs> and it's my some Oh, they do it because it makes them look younger. No, it doesn't. You just like Pennywise, like the hair way back here. Like no. Miranda Labraro. She says she's a transformist drag queen. Oh Lord, please don't be annoying though. I'm trying to get the whole outfit, but I mean, it's okay. I feel like it's a, either, I guess they're young, but they all seem like a, a older queens. I don't know. Her, now her drag style is being absurd. Absurd. <laughs> There's something about her that seems like an it factor. I don't know what it is. Like she just looks like somebody I've seen before. Like she just looks like she should be on TV. I like fruit doo doo too. <laughs> oh, she looks from, she looks like somebody I've seen before. I'm assuming she's like a superhero kind of queen. <laughs> I'm liking the I'm, I'm liking the, the little fun eyeshadow going on. But the lace is lacing. <laughs> Ow. Oh, is the theme yellow and like yellow and stuff? It's kind of cute though. I'm going to rent this. 
Hmm, so give me superhero. NASA, isso mesmo que todo mundo. Olha aqui, NASA. NASA. I believe her that she will show a lot of personality because she seems she has a lot of personality. She seems fun. I already feel it. Oh, she's so humble. She said she brings you everything you want to see. She's not leaving you out nothing. What do you want? You want a truck driver? She'll be a truck driver. You want an astronaut? She'll be an astronaut. Her, her face looked really yellow just now. I kind of wish it was yellow. It's it giving me like yellow Pokemon drag queen. Well, <laughs> secretly remind me of someone I don't name Cam. And secretly, this is the Brazilian version of. Dang, I don't remember any of these queens' names. <laughs> The same season, American last season, the little short one that does all the flips and all that. <laughs> I don't know her name. <laughs> but this is the Brazilian version of that. And just now she kind of also put me in the mind of, um, oh, I don't know anybody's name right now. <laughs> the Mexican one who's also now on work on the Las Vegas show, girl. Anyway, her name is Organza. The hair is giving me this very much Sailor Moon. But I'm getting boy, just boy. And I think, cause Celia, I was gonna say, girl, I bet you he's a nasty bottom. <laughs> I could tell. But like, we're just nobody or nothing. Like, just I put on a wig and nothing. Like, I'm just like sick of it. I'm, so, I'm sick of it. I'm sorry, I am. I'm a, I, I am. As some, somebody got to say it. Somebody has to. And it's always me. I'm like, girl, can we try, though? Like, was, yeah, you put on a little outfit and wait. But, like, can we try to, like, serve me the illusion, though? Please serve me the illusion. Like, I can tell she's a dancing queen. I can tell she can dance. But, yeah. See? There go the dance. <laughs> you can just tell. You can, I can just tell they have the same kind of build and stuff. You can just, you can just tell. So, Uma Fashion. Fashion. Girl, Uma Fashion. When I tell you. <laughs> Girl, what in milk meets Miss Fame? I cannot. It's the makeup for me. Like, I'm sorry. Like, it's a little too literal. Like, it's like the literal line right there. The literal line there. The literal. Like, it's just so literal. Like, I get what she's trying to do, but it's like. I guess as the girls always say, you just try to tell me, bland. But maybe, that, but maybe that's her style. Maybe she wants those lines to be precise. Hello, eu sou a Ruby Ocean. Ruby Ocean. I live for that name though. Well, I guess this, this is the twink of Brazil. <laughs> a joia do oceano, meu amor. Eu vim I feel I, I'm saying a lot of these people are now doing these like really like harsh nose contours. A lot of queens now, like it's like you know, it's just like a bowling a bowling alley lane that's coming down the nose. Like <laughs> the outfit seems a little too big on her, but the colors are cute. If it was more fitting, I would rent it more. So she just reminds me of any of the other white queens you see on Drag Race. No shade, Miss Fame and them. You know, it's always like that kind of like Aquaria. Like, you know, it's always gonna be that that on Drag Race, no matter where you go. They, they can go to Drag Race Africa, the blackest place, and they'll still have. <laughs> but she may be cool though. But I'm just like, okay, you know. Girl, what in RuPaul's lost cousin in Brazil? <laughs> Shannon Scarlett. She seems like she has a lot of wisdom. I don't know. I just see something like she knows stuff. I just get that about her. No, I don't like the theme though, of, or the color, the yellow and all that for the theme. I don't really like it. And it's so dark in there, but maybe for a reason. Oh. <laughs> but that far as the look, girl, I think, I think I'll rent the look. Girl, she needs. She said, "I'm not painting on no top lip. This is my lip right here." If RuPaul, if RuPaul didn't paint her lip, it's like how her lip would look. There's nothing up there. 
as caras que ela faz, que é babado. And she almost kind of looks like Honey Davenport. A little bit. She's lighter than her, but I, I just get Honey too. She seems fun. I keep looking at that light right there. <laughs> but she seems like she's fun, but she'll curse you out. I, I get she like she'll curse you out. Black excellence. Come on, saying Black excellence like you have a cold. Celestia. Black excellence. <laughs> Oh God! Let me just cut this off. <laughs> I mean, y'all already know how I feel. But I like the look, though. <laughs> Mine is all that. I like the look. The look is really cute. Like I would buy the look without that. And, you know, and we've seen like bearded queens, right, who really still try to at least feminize their face. And then I just think there's just some people who just. They're not even a bearded queen. They're just a bearded guy in makeup. <laughs> no shade. And that's what I'm getting here. Like, just just be a cute little chubby beard on Grinder. It's okay. <laughs> but I think she pad. So at least I'm gonna give her that. At least it looks like she does pad and give try to give you an illusion. At, at, thank you for that, Emily. At least, thank you. They came here to break the paragraph. They came here to be so different to show male and female. Y'all not y'all aren't doing anything new or different. You're not. Girl, just alone, people being in drag is already doing that. Somebody changed going from going through the different uh, illusion. Drag king, drag queen. They're already doing it. Like not you're not doing anything different. You're just not shaving. <laughs> That's all. I mean like it's no shave. I'm just like you're just not shaving. That's all. Like, no shade to her, like, you know, congrats for getting on the show, but... Why did I say her name? Tristan Saladada? Tristan. <laughs> well, that was Drag Race Brazil. I will say, okay. The cast does seem interesting, though. Like, they seem like they're probably fun, you know? And congrats, Brazil, on getting your own season. Congratulations. Anybody that know, y'all look. If you're new here, I say how I feel. It doesn't mean I hate them, don't like them. I don't know them. People come here to hear my opinions. They're just my honest opinions. These probably are great people, great queens. We'll have to see. You know, if I watch the season or not. Yeah, but on to the Philippines. Let's see what the girls are doing. Baka baka. Change my drug because fast. Is that an orange on your shoulder or a tangerine or you're just happy to see me? Or the Mandarin, because Asian, mm-hmm. Hi, my name's Arizona Brandy. I can already say I love this color scheme already better. Arizona Brandy. I'll tell you, they're, they're sitting down on that chair all uncomfortable. <laughs> it's, like, it's like when you see the queens on um, that show, Bosco's, and they're sitting down on those lawn chairs all uncomfortable. <laughs> but this look, that was cute, buying it up. I love this hair because like it looks like almost Barbie doll like it looks fake it reminds me of BAP sexy RuPaul wearing this like Little Kim even like back in the day and Arizona Brandy is hinting <laughs> she seems funny Arizona Brandy I live for that name too <laughs> she seems fine <laughs> She looks like an actress, like an this Asian actress. I can't think of the name right now. I hate the tights, though. I hate the tights. Hi, I'm Astrid Mercury, 29 years old, from Madagascar. Astrid Mercury. People were saying that they're speaking a lot more English in this season. I'm like, okay. I'm like, thank you. They must have watched my raw view. Like, thank you. <laughs> She's cute. I already said that. Like, we already know it's gonna be a lot of like fishy queens on here because I'm telling you, if I girl, Asian like guys, they just most of them just really have feminine features already. They just do. <laughs> I love when people are onto that group. Um, B wherever they are, B whatever, child, I'm, I'm, whatever that group is. I thought they were a bunch of women. I'm like, <laughs> no shade. Girl, women in T-Balls haircuts. Very, um, dangerous. What do you call this? <laughs> she seems a little ditzy, but cute. Like, you want to, like, teach her things? You're like, it's okay. Oh. <laughs> 
She says, don't let this cute face fool you. Don't. But are you a baby queen? You, say you, you said, allegedly, you've been doing it for seven years, allegedly. Like, that's not really a baby. <laughs> Girl, what in the Philippine version of Serena Cha Cha? <laughs> <laughs> Not the season one girls were lucky I deactivated my Facebook because had I have known I would have been on season one and sat you hoes down. Hello? Not Bernie. <laughs> God, I heard looking all fishy and her name is Bernie. <laughs> yeah, what's your name, girl? Bernie. <laughs> No, she she also kind of reminds me of Tiny from Escape with those pitbull color eyes, <laughs> and uh, somebody else. <laughs> the girls are feisty in the Philippines. She said, although I'm small, I could be a speck of dust in your eye. Yeah, my attitude negative to positive. What? Okay, okay, no, I'm telling you, everybody looks like everybody. She also looks like a friend of ours named Cam. Well, his new drag name is Kalani. Don't ask me. <laughs> Cam, and I see Maddie as well on the face. And I see a Philippine version of, um, y'all know how I am with names. <laughs> Akira. <laughs> I really do. She's cute. I'm buying this look already. Hi everyone. Oh, that's what everybody keeps saying. It's so fish. Captivating cat cat. And I love that the outfit, the material looks like it's made of like what they make like the fans with. I love it. Cat and I'm TBA years old. <laughs> Not to be announced. <laughs> 22 years now. I started when I was seven. 22. Wow. Okay. Like, no. And even though she's cute, she seems humble. She doesn't seem like we were watching the Brazil one earlier with the girl who's like, I'm fashion, fashion queen, Donatella Versace, fashion queen. Everyone, my name is Captivating Cat Cat, and you can expect more. Something about her seems a little boring, though. Like I don't mean, I don't mean that in no bad way. I really, truly don't. She just seems a little like, I don't know. A little too goody two shoe for, but maybe I have to watch the show. Maybe she'll come out with claws, you know. But I'm just like, you know, like she's cute to look at and everything. Um, but the personality that seems to be a little low. That's what I mean. The personality. I have, I have to see more. Sure. Test, 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 test. <laughs> I already like her, but dang, that breast contour is harsh. Girl, what in the African American breast? <laughs> Come on, Patrick Starr's niece. Oh, this reminds me of that girl I used to really like on the last season. It was two of them, I think. I don't know their names. Y'all, y'all remember y'all, y'all that watched my raw views. I really liked her a lot. I thought she was really sweet. This is Didi Marie Holiday, the gorgeous, glamorous. Didi Marie Holiday, girl. All these names, child. But see, like her personality is always like already there. It's like okay, boom, like it hits me. Like I get her personality. Unlike with um, captivating, I hate that name secretly. <laughs> um, I don't know what to get yet. Besides that, she's looked pretty. God, who do I have to sleep with to get on the show? Girl, I ask that question every day. Nobody has answered me yet. But see, that's so, but between me and you, Dee Dee, it doesn't work that way. They don't like you when you want to do it. When you're desperate. They can smell it on you. They want people who are like not expecting it. But when, when you're like, who do I have to sleep with? I have offered to give myself for movies. Nobody wants it. Didi, just don't do it. A younger queen sovereign spoiled. They can't even zip their own dresses. Yeah. Oh, okay. So earlier, I already, forgot, I already forgot the name. But the one that I said, I hate the types was saying, you know, don't try to sleep on baby queens. She must be referring to Didi. <laughs> and hell, sometimes it's hard zipping your own dress. That's hard. Or, or putting on your own corset. Like, congratulations to the ones who can do it. But that's hard. It doesn't mean you're, you're not a good queen. It just means, like, girl, it's hard. Can you help me? <laughs> Most of them look the same. So I always. Oh, she's not lying, though. <laughs> she's not. Yeah, I like her. She th she's not lying. She's like, yeah. All these queens looking the same. She's not lying. 
Ijanal, learn how to blend. Although I think I need to work on my blending today. Ah, uh, exactly. <laughs> Clock the breast contour. Holiday show. You are gonna be entertained. I believe her. She seems like she's a good entertainstress. <laughs> Something about her face just makes me want to laugh. Like she just seems like she's like, I don't know, silly. <laughs> I love the little hairs in the front though. This outfit's giving me very like Mexican though, I wonder. Hello, my Bashies. It's me, the Hannah Beshi. Okay, she's giving me like she's watched a lot of like videos. You know, a lot of Patrick Star, a lot of social media. Like she seems like she's very like that kind of girl. I could be wrong. I'm buying this look. Well, especially the hat. I love the hat. I hope she's like not too much. Don't let Lizzo see those bananas. <laughs> pork crack. Do y'all like pork crack when say that in the Philippines? Because girl, I haven't eaten it in, in a while, but... I was staying. Everybody know I was stay eating some salt and vinegar pork cracklings. The girl, she's shading. She's awesome. We make our own outfits in the house of La Fea, which is good. I mean, like if they're making all that, that is good. But tomorrow, awesome. we don't buy, our, we don't reuse outfits or wear them online. Girl, who? Anne? Yes. Okay. Amazon queen, Walmart queen, whatever queen. Like, no, no. Uh -uh. Anne. And not to reuse the outfit, girl. Bye. <laughs> some 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 people spend too much money on the outfit to only wear it one time. No, ma'am. Watch out, cause this bitch is about to dominate. Maybe maybe that's the one they were saying were fish. <laughs> girl, where's your nose? Girl, the nose is not existing. Girl, this is giving me little Kim. This is giving me <laughs> um plastic. Once again, the one that's on um. The Vegas show. <laughs> girl, where's your nose, girl? Girl, she been transitioning since she came out the womb, bitch. Girl, I know that if she... <laughs> I'm saying if she's ever done... If she's ever, like, you know, maybe... I don't want to say prosta, but, like, you know, call girl. I know her inbox is full Girl, I bet you her inbox is full with so many straight men. Girl. Hi, hon, <laughs> Sorry, it's Michael Jackson. Back from the dead. <laughs> Just want to say, I love you. I love you. <laughs> it's, it's Miss. Miss Jade So. Okay. I hate the tights. It's, it's something about, yeah, I... Do they not just have regular tights there? Or do the girls think that their legs look like bronze and go, I hate the tights so much. Oh, George's. George's. The name just came to me. George's. <laughs> hey, she's cute. You can't take it from her. She's cute, right? But I hope she's not, like, arrogant. I know some people celebrate confidence. And I am, like, a little on defense of it sometimes because it comes off a little arrogant. Not a power top, and I believe her. I believe she is topping the guys. I, be I believe it. Can cope meet baby because I am the competition. I am. Yeah, she's arrogant. <laughs> the only put that I Come on for the body. Ow. And everything, darling. I've been doing I kind of want to fast for her though. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little too much. Uh oh, girl, she said she's been doing the doll stuff. Girl, sugar and spice the competition, girl. Yeah, little Suso has their name depending on. The oh, I had a wig that was once almost like that. The hairline, yes, girl, yes. These are the wigs that RuPaul deserves. Music, beauty, fashion, and myself. It is a celebration. <laughs> <laughs> she definitely loves herself. She definitely loves herself. I'm just gonna fly here and there. Mm -hmm. What is she talking about? <laughs> Maybe I was born this week. I almost said they should have had her, like, um, Susu, or whatever name, uh, for last. Because, like, after all her energy and all that extra ness, now I'm just like, oh, okay. Matilda, you're multimedia. Not Matilda. 
from Vegan City, okay. Hilda's known for her high energy performances. She does the kicks, the split. She says she has a high energy performances, but right how she's speaking now, it doesn't it's no energy really. My favorite drag race franchise would be Siguro US. Kasi dunag simula ang lahat. Of course, it's the US girl. If it wasn't for us, y'all wouldn't be. Damn, I'm proud of a country that's not proud of me. <laughs> yeah, she uh, something about her that she's saying is under is over, very overwhelming. Something about her she seems very timid. She seems very timid, a little scared, a little shy. So I wonder how she does on this season, because I don't know, I'm a little like, huh. Cebu City, Nicole Pardo is definitely <laughs> Nicole Paradox. She says she's a MILF. These dang gold types again. There was a time where the girls used to try to like hide their lines, the breast lines and stuff, the neck, the arms. Now people are just like, whatever. Wala pang mga bars that would cater to drag queens. But hopefully, hopefully. Oh, she's saying that they're not really doing any like shows or clubs where she's from. Me is definitely my Joa. We've been together. I like that, my Joa. One day I'll have a Joa. I mean, do I really want a Joa though? I mean, I'm just saying. Depression. Nicole Pardo is here to sleep. Because she's a newbie. I like the wig though. It's kind of giving me like hairspray. Like she looks like um, Motor Mouth Ma uh, Mabel <laughs> secretly. Um, but yeah, I'm telling you, after that girl, I, my, my energy's drained. <laughs> Girl, those are horns. They're a little, but those are horns. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Hey, it's the the horns are a little. Uh, like, I wish they were more shiny looking or something. They kind of like look a little dull or cheap compared to the rest of the outfit. Cause that back, just that all the drama behind her. Yes, ma'am. Girl, this is gorgeous. Okay, I wish the dress was a little different. Like, I don't know, something, but this flowering behind her, that is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Like, she's blooming out of something. Hi, my name is Ovi Khan, 24 years old, the Enigma. Not Ovi Khan. Oh, Lord, I'm getting trouble saying your name, child, because YouTube, they a mess. From the original drag name, which was Olivia Virgin. Yeah, she's going to be canceled. Don't let Victoria hear you say this. Your, your name. <laughs> So, let's see about that. Oh, <laughs> she was here, villain, <laughs> saying that she, she's that C word because when she's in drag, she's a little too cunty and she don't have friends. I believe her. I'm working with fabrics. I can sew. I can use the fucking... Girl, this outfit, of course you can sew. I mean, I don't know if you made it, but I can tell. It's over for you hoes. It's over for you hoes. <laughs> 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 she like the Nicki Minaj of Philippines. I, I wonder how long this trend is going to last with all the girls like doing all this like white all up in here and it's all this. Like it's cute, right? But I feel like everybody's doing it. Um, girl, this look is a lot going on, but it's cute. It's like pink lemonade now and later. <laughs> I live for her being like, you know, plus size, but her name is Tiny Deluxe. I live for it. I like this, like, all this going on. It's a lot, uh, but I like it. What? Tiny is bubbly, is very beautiful. I can tell she's bubbly. Like, she's like she's a very big personality. Queen, I like singing drag queen, so, um, you know, in the exude, you tiny the She gives me singing drag queen. Like, she looks like an opera singer. Secretly. I just noticed the really cuts in the shadowing. I like that. And so, yeah, I did it. And ngayon, addict na po. Drag can be addicting. It's, it's kind of it's like a drug secretly. <laughs> Most of them have this little thing where they, they'll be off really, very like innocent. Yeah, I'm just like a delicate rose and like very like pert ice and teddy bearish. But I will cut you, honey, and slash you. Hi, my name is Verushka Levels. I am 24 years old, 12 years ago. Okay, I'm about to say 24. Because <laughs> you seem and look very mature. I can see the, the work done, girl, but you seem very mature. She seems she, she seem like a classier, mature queen that's been around for a while. Of the South. 
My drag is hot. I don't like this look though. I don't like her. I don't like her. Very sophisticated. She put fists in sophistication. Girl, she got her cheeks. Feel her. She went she went to the to um Wow Pow girl down the block. Okay, they went down to the basement and they put it in. Me, Verushka, and levels from my house, legendary house of levels. So, Verushka, I never heard of the house of levels, but then I'm not really into that scene, so I wouldn't know. I was a makeup artist, a royal princess there, and then I went back to Philippines for two years. I can tell her being a makeup artist for these people, these big people, because her makeup is very clean. I wish it was like more colors, but maybe she wanted it to be more soft. Like, cause it's like, that's the thing. Like, but I think because she has work done, it also helps her to look more feminine. But like, it's very like neutral face, but then it's fish, you know. So the drag scene in Hong Kong is very. But she kind of looks like reminds me of Quagmire. <laughs> I don't mean that in a shady way. I swear I don't. I know. I know it sounds shady, but I don't mean. It. But I just kind of see it. Giggity. <laughs> So the drag queens in Hong Kong are treated like celebrities, darling. Because you know what? Look at us. Is there anybody here from Hong Kong that can, like, answer to that? Do they look at drag queens as superstars there? <laughs> Count her. Well, I could say I probably enjoyed that meeting meet, meet the queens more than the Brazil one. Only because most of them speak, spoke English. You know, maybe if the Brazil, I could understand them better. I can get into it, too. But either way... Um, both were interesting. This season does seem interesting. Like, I wasn't really thinking about watching it just because I just not really this too much. But I may actually get into it and maybe you, I may. I'm like, these girls seem fun and very interesting. What do y'all think? Who y'all rooting for? Let me know down below in the comment section. Um, thank you for watching, of course. Once again, if you like the tip and all that information, is in the description box below. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't. Um, and I will see you the next time. Thank, Thank y'all. So, Tinha Uma Boa Noit Ora Ola Bimvindo Al Mua Baraco Esta Mojado Por Dentro Approve It Mong and Dong Gabai Stay Beat Stay Beautiful But Most Importantly Stay Blessed Kima Cho or Kamochi Bye Tommy doesn't touch my dirty pillows at prom. Or at least that's what Mama calls them. They're all, they're all, they're all gonna laugh at you. I was also so white and confused at school today. I still don't know where the manager is. <laughs> all the girls laughed at me. They're all gonna laugh at you! Why? Harry White, get down here and praise God. Coming, Mama. And where's Boo Boo? Why? Why?